What's that? I'm sorry, I can't hear you over the music. Oh, okay. I'll explain on the next episode of Life's Potluck Buffet. Okay, on YouTube? All right, cool. See ya. Hi, this is John Paulus, and you're listening to Life's Potluck Buffet. And today's episode is about choices and style. You remember from card 45, we talked about understanding your style and how understanding your style is the key to decision-making in the future. And today I want to talk about Worksheet 45, which is all about the choices we make in life. Well, let's take a look. Okay, so here we are. Worksheet 45, Understand Your Style, Magenta Noodles on Top. And here's what it says. Start to explore why you do everything you do, what you watch, what footwear or clothing you choose, what you read, what you listen to, what you eat and drink, even what toothpaste you use, and why. Fill in whatever choice or choices you feel below and then discuss. So there's a blue frame here where you can fill in your choices or whatever, you feel, whatever you're feeling right now in regard to choices you make. And you can do that with writing. You can do that with images. You can do that with a combination. Just dive in. So let's just dive in. First, I'm going to select a color of pen. Let's see if I can go to the right one. All right. How about we'll do green. Okay. Start to explore why you do everything you do. Hmm. Okay. So what you watch, what footwear, clothing. I'm going to start with footwear. And let me select a pen. All right. But, oh, no. I just did that in script. All right. I got to stop with the script. Let me print this out so it can be read clearly by all. All right. So I'll start with foot. Footwear. All right. And I just wrote the word footwear here. You can put in actual names of brands or styles of footwear uh, if you'd like. I'm going to say here, I'm going to talk about sneakers. Um, sneaker choice. Um, I'm writing in sneaker choice here. So you can, as I said, you can put in anything you want. I'm just going to, just for the sake of showing how this works, I'm going to put in sneaker choice, and I'll talk about it in a second. Okay, so uh, what you read, yeah, okay. Uh, I'm going to talk about something I read, and it's uh, leadership. I'll just write leadership down, leadership reading. Um, I'll discuss that as well in a second. Leadership. Uh, reading. Let's put that down. Uh, what you listen to. Okay, listen to. All right, I'm going to say hip hop. Hip hop. Oops, that didn't look like an H. I'm going to redo that. Hip hop from. From. Well, I'll just write 80, 80s, 90s. I'll just do that for now. That's what I've been listening to recently, as I mentioned in an earlier episode. Even went to a show of a big 80s hip hop star, legend, legend. And what you eat or drink, what toothpaste you use. I talked about, I talked about toothpaste so much in that earlier episode a couple months ago about Worksheet 45. Remember that toothpaste with the Arctic moss or fern or something like that in it that. I used to buy back in the day 
and what I talked about craftsmanship in that and so forth. Oh, I actually talked about hip hop in that one as well because I talked a little about Tupac and craftsmanship, I believe, as I recall. Okay, so, um, yeah, I think that's I think that's going to be good for now. So, all right, so let me dive in here and I'll give you a sense of how I think about what I've written down here. First of all, I want to say that I feel like my third element has been, is my third thing. Remember all of our emphasis on the third thing you say, that the first two things you say are often kind of you clearing the air for the third thing you say. In this case, the third thing I said is really important because it is about music production, it is about hip hop and music production. And remember, I was talking about that the other day, how that was the key to my self-care right now is doing music production. In fact, I was playing around with the online uh, drum machine just before I started recording this episode. And so I really, I really think this is an important element here for me right now in terms of self-care. I don't think I'm going to become a professional producer of hip hop music or of drum beats or of any type of music anytime soon. At least I don't foresee that. Who knows? But for now, it's really just about taking care of myself, right? Remember that chuchutage principle, the pampering? For me, that's what's going on there. Um, oh, and the music from the beginning of this episode from the that uh, hot club in Potluck City is actually entitled something like Casserole. It's by um, a music producer named Beauchamp or Bauchamp. Uh, it's B-A-U-C-H-A-M-P. We'll see if the closed captions get that right. I, I like it. And it's, and it's called Casserole. So I'm really excited about that. And so if, um, if DJ Bauchamp, if you're listening to this podcast, thank you for dedicating that beat that you did to public domain. I really appreciate it. And I would like to ask you if you know about this thing called a Dutch oven. In English, we sometimes call it a casserole. And that's why I, that's why I was really excited to find your old school track there. How do you say that in French? Okay, so that is hip hop 80s and 90s style. Let me delve into the other things I wrote down here. Sneaker choice. Oh, remember I was talking about learning how to run, learning how to, you know, run in a way that is not problematic for me. It doesn't hurt. Um, and having having done that, an important element of that is choosing the right shoe to run in. And in this case, I found out what type of shoe I should be wearing for running, what and through experimentation, I've figured out what brand I use that makes the shoes that I run best in and are most helpful to me as I run in terms of support and so on and so forth. So uh, that is why I wrote down sneaker choice. So that's that's also been on top of my mind, and I talked about that in previous episodes as well. Another thing I've talked about in previous episodes is leadership reading. And I've been doing a lot of that, and I've been doing a lot of that related to both just on a daily basis in kind of articles written about the, our world, both here in the U.S. and abroad, and reading stories that are profiles of various people. And I find that I'm always very kind of fascinated by those kinds of profiles of people and learn a lot from them to see what they say, how they say it, see what choices the authors made in terms of how what quotes they're using from the person that they're profiling and what situations. Um, that says a lot about the author, so I'm kind of interested in the mechanics of that. If you will, I'm interested in the craft of that. And this is, as you recall from my discussion of Card 45, this idea of craftsmanship, whether it's in using a drum machine, whether it's 
making sneakers, whether it is writing an article or a book, profiling someone or something, that idea of a craft is, for me, the thing that unites all of my choices. If I listed all of these other things, you know, what I watch, um, what I, you know, what toothpaste I use, what clothing I wear, I can find a link to the idea of there is a pleasing craftsmanship going on that suits me. That is the thread that ties together all of these things in my decision-making processes. And it's gotten to a point where I could do it almost automatically because I understand that I have, I'm looking out for that, what craft suits me in any choice that I'm making. So I hope that Worksheet 45 helps you discover what choices you make and why you make them and find out what the thread is that ties together those choices. And in doing that, you'll make the process of decision-making easier, and you will also make decisions that suit what your values are, and that's a big thing. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did and you feel like it, give it a like. If you're into subscribing to YouTube channels, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. And thank you if you've subscribed already. Head to lifespotluck.com forward slash worksheets and check out Worksheet 45 for yourself. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.